Hello and welcome back to another certified OGJ film video. We are still stranded on the side of the road with our 1970s Pontiac Firebird. The car is not running anymore, but we're not quite sure what's wrong with it. And we're literally in the middle of nowhere in West Virginia. And also we have no phone signal, so we can't even call for help. We need to find a way out of here, and we need to find a way out of here quick before the night comes. Because honestly, we all do not want to get stranded here when it's dark. Enjoy the video. So we're currently on our way, we're gonna look for something to tow the car at least, so we can at least drive a little bit into the civilization. It might look a bit civilized here, but in the end we are in the Appalachians and we still have no internet connection, no phone signal, nothing. We're gonna drive to the nearest city and see what we can do there. And then we're gonna tow the car hopefully somewhere and I don't really know what's gonna happen. But let's see, we're gonna find out, I guess. So our first idea was to drive to the nearest gas station, which was like 30 minutes away. And there at this gas station, the only person we found was the biggest hillbilly I've ever seen. But this guy turned out to be very, very nice. And we tried looking for a rope with him so we could tow the Firebird. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. He didn't really have any in his truck, so his best idea was to call his buddy, who luckily owned the tow truck. Let's see if he can help us. The only thing I know to tell you is, is I, is I can get that boy on that road back to come here, come take it for you anywhere you want to. Also, I understand the word, what he says. You're a bit sad, you guys. Now I know how you feel when I talk in my language. People are so mean. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> driving back to Gabriel, he just called his friend. His friend has a shop, but these guys are the biggest <laughs> hillbillies we found, I think. But maybe they are able to help us. So at least they have a towing company so they can tow a car. I gave him a phone call and said he's so traurig. Oh, Jungs, jetzt essen wir erstmal was gemütlich. Ach so? Wie ist das? Ja, ich glaube nicht. Ja, fix ist das. Oh, <lacht> Baby! Blow up on you? Ja. Wir wollen ja auch noch mehr. Wir wollen ja auch noch mehr. Ah, ich kann das nicht. So, maybe just pull us in the next city. Next city will be up at the south end for about 30, 40 minutes. What's the city called? Winsom. Y'all just buy this up? Yeah, we literally just bought it two hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Do you have an engine or something we can change? Uh, I ain't got the engine for that car. Oh, okay, that's a big block. Yeah. We can also put a small block in there if you have them. Room for a motor, bro. I don't know what motor it is. That boy just got broke loose on the bank got one. He got a pony that came to my turn on the hill one himself. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Boat anchor there now. <laughs> what are you saying? Junk. Junk? Junk. <laughs> it's gone. Just don't boat that son of a bitch, don't even look at it. They're gonna knock it like hell. <laughs> so we're gonna tow it back to Huntington probably. I'm gonna check with the previous owner um, because they told us they have some engines lying around. Can't imagine how random that is right now. Just give me a second, I'm gonna give him the address and then we'll see what what's going on. The upschlepper passed out of it. Ich habe schon einen Laser abgekauft. Wenn es dazu nichts sagt, hätte ich mir den Laser abgekauft. Ja, es ist wirklich wie ein Film. Also, schlimmer wie ein Film. Es sind heute schon so viele komische Sachen. Tow truck is definitely matching the car. <laughs> so, that was very interesting. Um, this guy is going to tow our car to Huntington, so to the place in West Virginia where we bought the car from. And there, we're gonna try to find out what we're gonna do next. We have an idea, but we're gonna have to see if it works or not. These two guys were probably the most hillbilly guys we could find in the whole area. So nice. But they are pretty much like everybody else here in the area because we are literally in the middle of nowhere. So we got lucky that they're even helping us. We could barely understand what they were talking. Money was kind of... Everything. I understand everything. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you this. Yeah. See you guys in Huntington, I guess. This is exactly with whom you have to talk. Mothman. Mani keeps talking about Mothman ever since we came here, by the way. It's like Mani's biggest inspiration is Mothman. It's not inspiration, uh, the biggest fear. The biggest fear <laughs> is Mothman. We have news. We're gonna meet up with the previous owner, Christopher. Thank yeah. you, Christopher. And then we're gonna try to figure out a way what to do. Um, currently, my idea would be to buy one of Christopher's engines because 
or his cousin seems to have quite some engines, mm -hmm. um, if they're not too expensive, because they are pretty much built Chevy engines. So if that doesn't go to plan, we already have plan B and plan C. Let's see what happens. Drive to Christopher, unload the car, give hillbilly towing guy his money, and we're gonna find out what we do with the car. Sounds like a plan? Yo. Like a good plan. Yo, the both my friends to turn off. Mit denen ist echt nicht zu scherzen, ich weiß. Ich gucke nur mal. Das ist echt nicht. Das ist echt krass. Alright, alright, alright. So, unload the car here. Gonna wait for Christopher in the meantime. Ah, yeah. Die Sau klingt so geil. Should I sit inside and break or? Thank you very much, man. Yes, yeah, and uh, that's road run is uh, next month, then, eh? Next month, next yeah. month. Yeah. Uh, see, next month is uh, the 12th, 13th, and the 14th. Ah, three days. Yep. In Tennessee. Yep, Tennessee. Peace and Ford, Tennessee. Okay. They got all kinds of cars to be there. Nice. Okay. I'm going to be down there. Really? Yeah. Maybe we meet you. Oh, you may never, <laughs> you never know. You never know. the fiber let us know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank yeah. you very all much, right. man. Yeah, thank you, sir. You too. Long time no see. Oh. Hey. <laughs> we waited here all the day. <laughs> so, car is where it should be, probably. Gabriel is at least gonna disassemble the engine now to see what really the issue is. Also, we kind of suspect what happened already. The good thing on these engines is, is they're really easy to work on and you don't really need many tools for that. So, you need a new motor. We should pay a swimmer. 500. Da war alles dabei, oder? Geil. Wie Sie sehen, sehen Sie, Sie nichts. Fehlen sind da mal alle gut. Meinst du, dass die andere Seite war? Nein, ja, das muss man schon sehen. Ja, jetzt dauert auch das Werkzeug, geil. <lacht> du hast dann schrauben sie auch immer noch. Mhm. Und der Zahn. We have to drive the auto really quick to get some tools. Because As usual. it's not, it's not gonna work out with these tools. Luckily, there's an auto zone five minutes away from here. God bless America and God bless auto zone. And our troops. Oh, they are troops. troops. It's not ours. All right, we're moving the car really quick to get under under some cover. Hey, so ma, wait a minute. So man um dran. Then can we move the light from BMW from the side. Yeah. This is pretty much gonna be our setup for tonight. We're gonna disassemble the old engine, see what actually wrong with the engine. Uh, we now have all the tools we need from outer zone. Got some straps in case we need to pull out the engine to the roof. We got some good old Duralast mechanics tool set, everything from AutoZone. So AutoZone, if you see this video, I think it's time for a sponsorship. By the way, we're just literally doing this at Chris's warehouse. There's nothing really inside that we can use. We have to buy all the parts from AutoZone if we need any. Next thing is we don't really have any proper workspace to do so. So we're just gonna do it here on the outside and hope for the best. Hope that it is enough. Uh, we could also do it in front of an AutoZone, but the thing is they're closed right now. So this is all we have tonight. Okay, so um, we just cranked the engine and only cylinder one is moving, which could mean that maybe the crankshaft is broken or more reasonably, the camshaft is just scraped off on cylinder two, three and four on this side. So Gabriel is just gonna basically tear everything apart and we're gonna see what's, what the issue is. What is this? <laughs> That's in it. <laughs> <laughs> this warehouse pretty much is right in the forest. So we are surrounded by forest and skinwalkers. Probably. Ich hab mir nicht gedacht, dass wir so schnell schon am Auto zangen müssen. Ich hab mir gedacht, das ist der einzige Motor, was ich schaffe, dass nicht hinwäscht. Weil das so ein Panzermotor ist. <lacht> das ist wenigstens ein altes Auto, da kannst du selber noch anderen. Ah ja. Schaut's da. Ja, ich hab ihn mitten im Wald in der Apparatschen. 
am Sonntag Feierbord repariert <lacht> und so ein Vordach. Schon geil. So, Jungs und Mädels, unter meinem Kopf. Jawohl. Ah, ich hund schon. Boah, die ist falsch. Halli Dominator. Steigt da rein. Auf dem Stabi, ich glaube, ich bin. Warte, wo ist Ronald gefängt? Baby. Nee, den Geschmackstest muss ich machen. Nee, dann sei das Schiff in der Red Light District. You know what it is? Aluminium with oil. Like the remains of a piston? Yeah. That is ah, uncool. Yeah. Yeah. Just to measure the oil. Pull it up. Ah, no. no. Hm. Mm -hmm. Da ist nichts da. All the Pontiac enthusiasts will hate me. <laughs> so the problem is we don't have a long socket. By the way, if you're wondering what we're doing, so we can't get on it. So Gabriel's just breaking off the Excess piece, which we don't really need anyway, so. <laughs> Do you know Mothman? What's that the point was? You're about an hour and 30 minutes from here. He can fly, so. It's all just bullshit. In my opinion. I mean, I don't know. I'm not into that. I saw a picture. <laughs> I know the one where there is ass. <laughs> what? No, 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 no ass. <laughs> Man, that's a Klingon bird of prey. A bird, Star with, Trek. A bird with legs? No, a Klingon bird ah, of prey from Star Trek. Klingon. This has been sealed probably for like 50 years. <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh. Oh. He's saying we have a hardcore problem. <laughs> yeah? Schau mal was. Schau. Das ist nicht das Beste. Der Connecting Rod. Der Connecting Rod. Schau mal. Was ist das? Was würdest du es nennen? Dein neues Kind? Christopher. Ja, da brauchen wir aber die Nuss wieder. Die Chick schaut aus. Also, Gabriel, was ist das Problem? So, das Problem ist, der Connection Rod und der What on the first and on the third cylinder just yeah, bro the broke one or is also fucked. Look at this. Yeah. So, very much. so we, we just need to know the reason why uh, the connecting rod broke. Maybe it's because of the valves knocked on the piston, but I don't think so. I really don't know. Here, here it touched. The, uh, I yeah. So you can see. We got some contact. Yeah. No, no, no. I think that's who stayed, right? So we're gonna get some proper tools tomorrow and then we can just easily pull the pistons out and see what's happening on the Or maybe the engine. Or maybe the engine. Or well, we have to pull the engine out anyway. So, yeah. so uh, we're gonna go to sleep. That's all I wanted to say. We don't have all the tools. Uh, tomorrow morning we're gonna uh, report the engine and then we're gonna find this solution because this engine is... This is the first engine in this car by the way. So this obviously would be pretty cool to have, but... So I see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Hey, hey, Gaps. Morgen. Was steht am Plan? Ja, Mutter ausbauen. Mutter ausbauen? Yes, sir. Möchtest du zuerst einmal die Kolbenmasse ziehen? Ja. Den Magneten, den wir gekauft ja. haben, für die Kolbenmasse ziehen. Habt ihr schon probiert, einen Kolbenmasse ziehen? Oder? Nein, ich ich wir wollten auf, auf die Warten extra. Echt? Ja, deswegen ja. filmen wir ja. <lacht> Was haben wir auf da? Nein, noch Kolben. Das weiß ich nicht, dass der Motor auch. <lacht> 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 wir haben schon probiert, aber ich gesagt, ich freue mich schon, wenn der Gäbs im Weg kommt. <lacht> Was ist denn das für ein Scheiß? Ich wundere mich nicht, dass ich hier nicht. Nein, mich auch nicht. Wenn das Alu geblieben ist, dann sind sie sicher Alu bleiben. Das ist mir leid. Das ist 26 Euro von mir. Aber es ist praktisch, wenn der Schrauben... Gut, dass wir zwei gekauft haben. Da. Das sind die Motorlager. Die Motorlager ist direkt. ist direkt am Fuhrtagsträger geschraubt. Das heißt, du machst eins, zwei, drei Schrauben auf und kannst den Motor rausnehmen. Also, Motor und Getriebe aussehen. Back in the days I was living swell, see I was riding bikes, roller skating and playing skelsies But nowadays shit is different Little kids be riffing, the motherfuckers won't listen Instead of shooting cops, they shoot blocks They point them at cops And that's the way they get props Ah, the, we found the problem The, uh, the camshaft broke here 
Hier. Hier. That's the reason why the engine broke. Yeah. All right. So uh, we have a genius plan. We are going to use nature to help us get the engine out of the Pontiac. The circle closes. This car was created from nature and now we give some parts back to nature. We are gonna prepare the engine to be pulled out and somewhere back there behind this hole, there is a tree, which is very beautiful, a very beautiful tree. And I think the tree can support the weight of an engine. So we're going to use the tree to basically pull out the engine from this car so that we can inspect the engine a little bit further. So we removed the starter. This was also a torture. I'm using this phone to contact Summit Racing because we might have some parts for the car for Summit Racing and this phone at the same time to get an engine. Uh, we might have an engine, might have a transmission. If you combine both together, we might have a running drive train for the Firebird again. It's all a bit of uh, a logistical nightmare right now, but I think we should be <coughs> hopefully good. So let's we'll see if we can make it work. Maybe you're wondering why we disassemble a cracked engine because normally you can pull it out all together, but we don't have the right, right. tools to remove the engine, so the engine has to be pretty light to remove it. Maybe Switch by it hand. is right now, hopefully. Yeah. Starter minus 50 kilograms, probably. <laughs> I think we already removed 150 kilos. Yeah, this engine is fucking heavy. Yeah. So everything counts. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Da haben wir, was Grund, immer. A loch. A loch in der Übung. Aber wir haben verloren. Eben. Aber wir haben aber auch Öl gemessen zuerst. Ja. Das ist das Komische, weil das ist auch echt so. Mit dem Finger kommst du rein in das Loch. Eine geile Geschichte, das Auto. Oder wir haben irgendwo vorher schon Öl verloren und haben es einfach nicht gesehen. Nein, das hier hat noch gesehen, es ist immer noch. Also, der ist immer voll gefallen. Ah, wie sehr geil. Du könntest da in den Wischstab reinstecken zum Wischern. Wischstab passt da. Also, das ist mir zu den Grund erklärlich, warum dass wir ein Loch in der Ölwand haben. Und trotzdem ihn. Alright. So I am on a mission now because I am going to drive to Summit Racing, which is like five hours away from here. Pick up a transmission, pick up a clutch and all the components needed to put it inside the car. And in the meantime um, I ordered an LS engine. So the LS engine is already with an ECU. The guy told us around 20 times that it's supposed to fit inside the car. By the time I should be back, we should have an LS engine. We should have a transmission that can hold the power of the LS engine. And maybe we have a drive shaft. It's going to be very interesting. Mani and Gable, they're gonna stay here in the meantime. And they're gonna pull out the old engine and all the other parts need to be pulled out. See you guys in a bit. So we removed the Transmission, I guess. Yes. So we can only remove the engine by itself. Maybe we can strap something on it, put it down and put out the engine and we're good to go. All right, so I just placed the order from Summit Racing for all the parts we need. We still have three hours, 45 minutes left to drive. I also just paid for the engine. Um, they are preparing the engine right now because we need a low oil pan to go inside the Firebird because otherwise it's not going to fit and they're also giving us the engine mounts which should fit for the Firebird hopefully and yeah then we can only hope that everything was correct because like I said neither Gabriel nor Mani nor me we know anything about this car this is pretty new to us so it is quite a challenge and then if that everything goes to plan and all the parts we bought are 100% right and come together in one piece onto the car as they should and maybe we might have an in a running car before Mani and Gabriel need to leave they need to leave on Friday it's currently Wednesday 2 p.m. gonna be some busy 48 hours oh we removed the last bolts of the gearbox we hope it's only the, the last bolt get no get no get no get no get no get no get Under the trees, huh? Beautiful. This is so geil, Alter. I glaube, it's a more rednecks as because the ganzen rednecks in America. We are redneck and hinterwälder gemischt. Yeah. 
Jawohl. Ja, der da hat schon, was vor dir ist. Der. Ja. Aber wir haben jetzt nichts anderes zur Verfügung. Wow, 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 wow. Ich bin so gespannt, Mann. Das schaut auch nicht so schlecht aus. Mag uns alle volle Möhre. Jetzt geht's schon. Jetzt am Morgen. Ja. Ja. Yeah, das ist geil, Alter. Ein schönes Ort. Das ist so awesome. In my opinion, this is the perfect Motocrane. So, the next thing is putting the transmission out. Hey, so it's got video. I made that gasket. I made that gasket. There's your brand new rear seal. There's a new one in the front. So there is also brand new oil on the floor. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you have a cat? I do, yes. But this this cat is getting this bird is getting it. After around five hours of driving, I have arrived here at the summit, whatever it is, summit racing equipment in Ohio. I'm actually pretty close to the Canadian border, which is quite fascinating to me. But at the same time, that was very annoying. So let's go inside. This right here for European people, this is gonna be heaven. Bear with me. Material things is what they want to scoop, they can't get shit like that. Working for no summer youth. They got clients, they living like giants They got the whole drug shit to a science They got Jews and beepers, hundred dollar sneakers Lexus coupes, windows down, booming the speakers They got... Yeah, servus! Hey! Euer Foto, was haben wir da alles? I have to unfortunately pause this video here really quick because we have some issues. I filmed everything on this day where we put in the new engine with my iPhone and my iPhone decided to completely stop working the day after on Friday. So basically I had to get a new iPhone and everything had to be reset. So I lost all of my videos from Thursday because they were not saved to my iCloud, which unfortunately sucks because we did quite many things on Thursday, um, but I'm just gonna tell you here. And we have some of Mani's videos. Mani didn't film so much, unfortunately, so it's not a lot, but still you have some video material in the background. Well, I'm going to tell you everything that happened on Thursday. So on Thursday in the morning, we disassembled more of the old engine and we found out that, like you already saw, the crankshaft on the old engine was broken. Here, here, here. Which was very interesting. I've never seen that before in my entire life. But yeah, that confirmed our suspicion that the engine was done. So we started putting together the new LS engine. It was a 6.0 LS engine. I'm pretty sure it's from like a Cadillac or something, but it's a good engine. It's supposed to make like 530 horsepower. And we mated it to the transmission, to the T56 Magnum transmission that I bought from Summit Racing. One of the most reliable transmissions in the world. Well, then we basically spent the rest of the day trying to get some smaller parts because Summit Racing forgot to give me some of the parts that we made a list for. We were missing engine mounts. Um, the original engine mounts that were inside the car, they were also completely melted. So that's also why we needed new engine mounts as well. We got these at Outer Zone. They were some universal mounts. So we had to do some cutting to get them to fit inside the car. And we also did not really have the matching transmission mounts. So yeah, that was the first main issue that we had. Unfortunately, we couldn't really find a solution for that. But still, we just wanted to get the engine and the transmission at least inside the car so that we can move the car with the engine and the transmission already inside around and ship them to where in the US we needed. Because we were still on a very strict timeline. Um, it was Thursday and on Friday in the morning, Mani and Gabriel were gonna fly back home to Austria. Initially, we had like 10 hours left to do all of this swapping. We also had some some issues with the drive shaft connecting to the transmission 
because the part that Summit Racing gave us was not a matching part, so um, it was not plug and play. I think it was the wrong T size, if I remember correctly. So that was also something that we could not do on Thursday because we were still in the middle of nowhere and Summit Racing was like five hours away and I was not gonna drive there again on my last day with Mani and Gabriel. So we just said, yeah, you know what? Let's at least put the engine and the transmission inside the car. We do not connect it to anything, but like I already said, have it inside the car so we can just push it onto a trailer and get it to where we need. So we did pretty much all of that. Um, transmission and the en engine at one point ended up being inside the car. That was not a big deal. It worked pretty fine. Good old elites. Because the engine mounts were universal, it did not really match up 100%. So we had to put a book underneath the engine so the oil pan did not sit directly onto the frame, which would have not been a good thing. Then it got to starting the engine and then we had uh, next issues, as you can probably already imagine. Um, it was supposed to be a three-wire job. That's what these three wires are for. So I wrote them on the back of this paper for you. Right, it goes to your ignition switch, on, off, kill switch. Put that yellow one right there straight to your battery, mm -hmm. positive. Run this green one straight to your fuel pump, positive, mm -hmm. and then you're good to go. That sounds sick. <laughs> yep, Rewire hookup. But for some reason, our car did not do that. At one point, we were just unfortunately running out of time. It was like 2 a.m. in the morning, and we just said, you know what, we're done. Time to give up. There's just nothing we can do. I would have loved to hear it running, but unfortunately, we just did not get to that point. So we pushed the car back inside the garage of Christopher. Fast. Uh, no pizza. We are flat. And that's where it's sitting now, somewhere in West Virginia. So yeah, that's the current situation of my Firebird. So honestly, I don't really know what to do. We kind of want to go back and fix the car, obviously, because I still want to do this project. I still want to make a proper drift car out of the Firebird, which also includes doing all the drivetrain and the suspension and everything, because the original one is just not going to cut it. So if you are from the US and you want to help us doing all of that, please let us know. If you have a workshop, if you have knowledge about LS engines and maybe old cars as well, please let me know. I would love to work together with you. I would love to fly back to the US maybe in November and finish this build so that we can at least drive the Firebird around and fired up for the first time in the US before we ship it back to Europe at one point. I'm very sorry that we lost uh, most of my video footage. Honestly, it sucks pretty badly because I also lost many cool pictures that I had on my phone. For some reason, they were not saved to the iCloud. Um, I have no pictures left of my road trip, pretty much. Um, all of the road trip in America. So that kind of sucks, but yeah. It is what it is, you know. Um, stuff happens like that all the time. As you can see, by the way, we're back in Europe at this point. Um, I have one more America video coming for you guys next uh, Sunday. And then you're gonna see our garage review because I'm sitting in my new garage right now at this moment. It's finished, I'm not gonna show you yet. You have to wait a few more days until we give it a big reveal. And we also did one project car here in Europe. You're gonna see that soon as well. I still hope you enjoyed this video. That was honestly a very, very wild trip. And I was very close to quitting this whole project altogether at one point on Thursday because I was just so fed up and annoyed with everything. You know, the missing parts, driving around from AutoZone to AutoZone to see if they maybe have some parts that help us out. It was just really, really annoying altogether. Oh yeah, and next to that, uh, Marnie and Gabriel, they missed the flights on Friday as well. So they had to stay one day longer, which also cost a lot of money because we had to book new flights and everything. So the whole trip to US, honestly, it seemed like it was a cursed trip. Um, I still had a very great time though. I stayed for one more week in Florida and we filmed some really cool stuff there. So you're gonna see that in the next video. I hope you guys have a good time and Despite all of this, I really, really love the Firebird and I can't wait to drive it again properly. Never give up, never surrender. Also, if you have any name suggestions for the Firebird, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.